friends, wizards, witches, and lovers. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, we're doing a Warner Brothers studio tour haul. That's right. I went shopping. So I recently went to the Warner Brothers studio tour in London. Haven't been since Christmas. It felt like going back home and yeah bought some things. It's actually the celebration of Slytherin event at the moment. It's been going on for the past year and it's going to be going on until September 15th. So if you are a Slytherin and you want to get yourself down there, definitely go check it out before the 15th of September because when you go into the Great Hall, they have just got Slytherin banners everywhere. It's very, it's very unnerving. I'm not going to lie, having all the Slytherin stuff. <laughs> no, it was absolutely beautiful. So there was banners decked in the Great Halls, which was really pretty. Um, felt really nice, actually. It made it feel a little bit more magical. I hope that they do it with the rest of the other houses eventually. There was a lot of costumes dotted around, which I'd never seen before. We've got, like, i tell you one that I got really excited about. It was Nagini's dress, which was near the Malfoy kind of manor section. And I was just like, it's so pretty. It was really good to see. And there was also the Malfoy's outfits, which were really cool. So we got to see Draco's outfits. I think there was a few of Draco's. There was a Quidditch Draco, which was kind of cool to see the Slytherin Quidditch robes, something we don't really see at the tour that often. And there was a really nice piece of Dumbledore and little Tom. Tom Riddle. I thought that one was really cool. But those were just a few of the things that you can see at the tour. They've also got the Slytherin common room as well. That's been there for a little while now. And I just love that common room. It's a brand new set there and it's just dressed so beautifully. I just kind of want to go in and have a look at all the trinkets that are on the tables. There's a lot to see. So if you haven't been for a while, definitely go book tickets if you can. But let's go on with the haul because... She did some damage in the gift shop. So if you want to know what I bought, then keep on watching. And if you're brand new to this channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go, because I spent like... <sighs> 250 pounds? Got a problem. I have a problem. <laughs> okay, I've got my very heavy bag down here. I'm going to leave it on the floor though and just do lucky dips and see what I get. Firstly, I got myself a wand. It's been a while since I've purchased a wand and I actually got Professor McGonagall's. Now, some of you that have seen my wand collection are probably like, Cherry, you, you've got her wand already. Kind of, it's a fake one. The gem is missing out of the end. So that's now in the bin. I've got the official Professor McGonagall wand. So let's have a little look. Um, it was between this one and Draco's wand that I was going to get this time around, but I chose Minerva. So here we have it. It says fragile, collectible wand, not a toy. So don't be playing with your wands. Just because you can use magic doesn't mean you have to whip your wands out. <laughs> right, so here we have her wand. And yes, we've got the lovely little kind of um, resin crystal piece in the end. Oh, this is very nice. It's like, tell you what, McGonagall has got a nice wand. It feels really good in the hand to like swish and flick. You get, that's how you test all your wands, swish and flick. Yeah, it's got a really nice grip. So I cannot wait to put that onto my wand shelf. Haven't bought a wand in a while. I'm trying to, I've decided every time I go from now on, I am going to either replace ones that aren't official or characters that I don't have like Draco, but blimey does Draco have a really boring wand. That's the only thing that kind of put me off. It's really plain. So yeah, we've got Professor McGonagall's wand. Next up in the bag of magic. Next up, <laughs> I have seen these for the past few times. I'm pretty sure I've even pointed at these. I bought these for my dad, so dad, if you're watching, you've got some owls to adopt. These are so fluffy. We've got Hedwig and P Pig Widgeon, which is the best name for an owl. And it's even got the actors on the back, or actresses. Um, really cute little owls. Um, couldn't resist picking them up this time. Basically, my dad's got like a bit of a toy collection going on in their lounge, and one of the toys is Hedwig. So I was like, I'll get some more owls to go 
into the collection just to make it a bit more magical. So he's got a miniature Hedwig and a pig, pig widgeon. Um, this cost £28 for the two of them. I forgot to say the wand was, um, I don't know how much the wand was, they're around 20 something pounds I believe. They're around 30 pound each, the ones approximately, maybe a little bit less. But either way, so we got some owls. I really just want to be like, whoo! <laughs> Love me an owl. Okay, so they did have a bit of a new range at the studio tour this time around. This was found in the Honey Duke section and they have got some new Butterbeer merch. I'm a big fan of Butterbeer, as you can tell. This is a pin and it was £5.95 and it's a enameled Butterbeer bottle cap. And I was like, that's really nice. I do like that. I also really like that cardboard backings at the moment. I like the new branding that they've got on there. Feels very outpost. Did enjoy that quite a lot. So yeah, if you go to the studio tour soon, head on over to Honey Dukes because they have got lots and lots of butterbeer things. I think I have some other butterbeer things in there as well, which we will get to. Now I didn't purchase this, but obviously I did end up getting a butterbeer whilst I was at the tour and comes a little tankard. I think it used to be optional whether you had to buy the souvenir tankards, but I think now you have to. So it is quite expensive to get butterbeers these days. I think it's about 6 95 maybe for a drink, but you do get to take these home, which is great. And I can add them to my shelves. I'm gonna end up having like a butterbeer kind of shrine at this rate. <laughs> what else did I buy? Oh my God, yes. This is so cute. I forgot about this. I have never seen these before. These are brand new. These were in the creatures section in the gift shop. They had their own little display, but it's the monster book of monsters and it's very furry. We've got embroidery on the front here with the eyes and this little tongue and we've even got the teeth along here. This was £24, which I know is quite expensive for a notebook, but it's got a lovely little popper. And to be honest, we've got some really nice parchment pages. So there we have, it's quite a substantial notebook, but obviously I bought it for the novelty of it being the monster book of monsters. I've got to stop buying notebooks, don't I? But either way, look how adorable it is. And I actually thought this might be a cute version to put on the shelves. I did back in the day have the plushy version of the Monster Book of Monsters, which is like this big, it's quite large. But obviously that couldn't fit on the shelves. So I saw this and I was like, that's adorable and could. So this is going to be my version of the Monster Book of Monsters that I might display somewhere at some point. But I just really liked it. I fell in love with it and you can stroke it, Sp stroke the spine and it won't bite you. <laughs> But yeah, so these are brand new to the gift shop as well. Now, something that I have, n I've seen a lot and I've always wanted, well, I have tested these with Vegard in a testing Harry Potter products video, but I have a Weasley and Weasley shelf and I was hoping that this would fit on the shelf. Is that top? Yeah. Oh God, that's like a perfect, <gasps> I could not have got luckier if I tried because these shelves are like a certain height. Um, I was a bit like anxious that it wouldn't fit, but it will. So I've got this for my Weasley and Weasley shelf because I'm kind of collecting stuff that. It's one of my favorite shelves going on at the moment because it's quite bright and vibrant. I will show you at some point. But yes, this extendable ear does actually work. It has little microphones and you can dangle it down from upstairs just like they do in the films and you can listen listen to people. So can confirm this does work, but I had plans to keep this in the packaging. So it looks like I've bought it from Fred and George's shop. This cost 15 pounds and I just think it's a nice novelty thing to purchase. It's something, yeah, I don't want to take it out of the packet. I think the packaging is kind of what makes it magical. So yeah, finally got my hands on an extendable ear and it extends to 12 foot with an easy to use listening device. So if you want to watch us test this out, I think the video is on Vegard's channel. So go check that out. Let's see what else. Oh God, I did buy, I do not remember buying these. Okay. Looks like I just had the Weasleys, a Weasleys shelf in mind because I also got some wizard cards. There are 52 playing cards and this cost 10 pounds. Haven't opened these yet, but again, kind of just wanted the deck for, I'm not gonna be able to open these. Um, <laughs> I kind of just wanted the deck for the shelf because that's the one that I'm currently working on. But yeah, so you can turn it upside down and you can still see a wizard. 
It's quite cute. Very nice. And I'm pretty sure it's like a working deck of cards as well. So pretty cool. Little magical twist to your games of blackjack or whatever you play. Bought myself a sign. Don't know where I want to put it yet, but I liked it. It's a tin sign. This costs 12 pounds. Love a good sign. I've got a diagonally one above my door. Just a big fan of the sign. Something that I wish that they would come out with was a collection of shop signs, like wooden that you could hang. Like that would be so, so cool. But in the meantime, yes, I did just smack myself in the face. Um, this is the Grimald Place sign. I will find somewhere for this or maybe I'll save it for a future house of mine but yeah I had not seen these before I don't know if they're new or maybe I just not looked at them before but yeah nice little metal sign which I will save for something these you can normally find in the forbidden forest shop at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London but it's currently closed due to Covid restrictions and having I think it's to do with their one-way policy they couldn't make it safe so they've just temporarily temporarily closed that shop for now but they have put these four Triwizard Tournament dragons in the main gift shop and under the last two times that I've been I'm just like do I get them do I not I just thought they were a bit of fun um and you can like grab them out with friends which dragon would you get if you're in the Triwizard Tournament you can display the dragon somewhere but yes I've ummed and ahed about it for a long while so we've got the Hungarian horn tail we've got the common Welsh green the Swedish short snout and the Chinese fireball uh, I think I would like the Welsh the common Welsh green if I was to get my own dragon not that I want a dragon I'm not Hagrid but yes so you can find these in the gift shop now which is pretty cool and they come with a nice little purple velvet pouch now I got to the gift shop and I got to the clothing section where you've got all your robes, your Quidditch jumpers and your cardigans for your uniform, which I've already got. I went in like full Hogwarts gear. They had some new jumpers, some new knitwear. Now I know it's in the middle of summer here right now, but I was like, I need these jumpers. So yes, first one I got was a Gryffindor. They're brand new. They've got these in all the houses, by the way. It's a Gryffindor zipped jumper. And it's so nice. It's got like brave at heart on the zip. So I'm assuming it'll have like loyalty on the Hufflepuff one, etc. Um, we've got the embroidered Gryffindor emblem there. We've got pockets, which is very important, which has it's got a little metal detailing there, which says Hogwarts. And it's just the fact that it's zipped. I wear my Quidditch jumper quite often, but to have a zipped version is really nice. And it's kind of got this little color so you can open it. I got this in a size small. I did want a medium, but I thought I'm probably going to wear it unzipped most of the time. So I got the small one. Do be careful when you're looking at these jumpers. At the studio tour because a lot of people do end up trying to hook things back and the hangers tend to go in the front of the jumpers and they do leave holes so yes a brand new quidditch jumper for gryffindor this actually cost 55 pounds but i can say the quality of their stuff is great it washes beautifully so i know that this is going to last me a few years so that's that and i did find one more jumper which was brand new never seen before i actually saw this on my friend Rodney's Instagram and I was like I need to get that next time I'm there so I was looking for it and it is this oh got another thing on the bottom oh this is very very soft this is a really soft Hogwarts jumper oh my god I forgot how soft this was it's like oh it's so soft it's like really really soft wool it's not wool though it's 80% acrylic and 20% polyester but yes this cost 45 pounds but i just loved it i thought this was really cute and it's a subtle nod to all of the houses well it's not that subtle is it but i really liked the colors i loved the um embroidery on there and i just thought this is perfect for autumn when the weather starts getting a little bit cooler but yes this this was the jumper that had the most holes in the front in the store so we did have to look through all of them and i got this one in a size small as well and last but certainly not least back to that butter beer stuff that i was talking about earlier i found this magnet which was 8.95 but it's an actual bottle opener so you can have this on your fridge and if you've got friends around that has butter beer bottles and they're like oh, i really want to open it or you know a beer or something then you can be like oh 
it's on the fridge go go open your bottles over there really liked the design they've made this look like the butterbeer labels on the bottles so yeah definitely go check out the butterbeer section really liked this loved the pin but there were other things that you could get as well but i chose just to get the pin and the magnet bottle opener because i thought that was practical and would use but that is all that i got definitely did get a bit spendy but there were so many new things and things that i'd just finally decided to bite the bullet on but I love the new jumpers I think this was probably my favorite one so very pleased with that can't wait to wear it loved the little monster book of monsters do enjoy that a lot and yeah really enjoyed all of the new butterbeer things um couldn't see too much else that was new in the store but they're constantly getting new things so definitely check the store out every time you're there because it's not the same every time but yeah what was your favorite thing that I bought do you have any trips planned soon to go to the studio tour I would love to know love that place it literally feels like a second home to me but yeah I will leave a link to their store down below because you can shop online as well but other than that I'm gonna go thank you so much for spending some time with me on my channel today give this video a magical thumbs up if you enjoyed it go check out some of my old hauls as well because your girl's been to this gift shop many times many times but yeah thanks for watching guys i will see you soon have a magical day